All right. I know I'm running out of time probably. How, how? Okay, okay. Um, I want to talk just a little bit about where summer annuals fit into grazing systems at. And, and they can be a challenge because their growth is so prolific during the summer months, you know. So um, stocking at a high rate uh, to utilize that growth is kind of important. And that's something you got to consider when, you, when you're going to use a summer annual because they, I mean, they're growing inches per day in the summer months if they've got adequate moisture and good fertility. So, so where do they fit in in forage systems? And um, one of the places may be a weaning system for fall-born calves. So when we're in the tall fescue belt, and tall fescues are primary forage, one of the challenges of a spring calving system is that we calve these, these animals out in the spring, and then we're trying to rebreed them during some of the hottest part of the year. And that, that heat is, is um, compounded with tall fescue toxicosis from the ergovalene. And we tend to have lower conception rates as we push breeding seasons into the summer months. So one of the ways to get around that is to use a fall calving system where we actually rebreed those animals um, in the fall during cooler time of the year. So those calves are being born in November and then weaned in June sometime. Uh, so, so one of the things that we did in Virginia with our Cattlemen's Association was a backgrounding system where we actually brought animals from different farms together. Uh, put them in kind of a dry lot situation, fed them free choice hay, and then they got a supplement, um, which was a commodity type pellet. We targeted an average daily gain of about two and a quarter pounds a day. And that cost producers, on average, to participate in that program about two and a quarter dollars a day to participate, to participate in that program. Summer annuals could, could provide a, a better weaning system or a more cost effective weaning system um, for these, uh, for these fall-born calves. So we'd wean them in June and then put those calves onto summer annuals and uh, let them graze those summer annuals. The cost of grazing those summer annuals will be about a dollar a day versus $2.25. So um, a summer annual weaning system might kind of look like this. We'd, we'd plan as soon as we got our soil temperature to 60 degrees in the spring. They'd be ready to graze by early to mid-June depending on the year and the, the growing conditions. Um, the cost of production and utilization of an acre of summer annuals is going to be between $150 and $200 in most cases, depending on, on fertility and seed costs and so forth. Um, so, so one of the things that I did when I, when I kind of, I'm going to show you some numbers, and I went back and I looked at summer annual production and all these different variety trials that we did over this 11-year over this, uh, period. And, and we looked at, at minimum yield and maximum yield and median yield and so on. And, and what I want you to focus on is this line. If we look at the median yield of these summer annuals, we're producing somewhere on average in terms of dry matter over this 11-year this period of 6,800 pounds of dry matter with good management on these. If we convert that into grazing days per acre, it's about 225 grazing days per acre uh, and, and the cost per grazing day is around 90 cents. So, so we're going to use those numbers in these calculations I'm going to walk you through now. So the average, average production we're going to use, I just rounded it off to 6,500 pounds. We're going to say we get a 50% utilization rate. So that means that 50% of that standing biomass in the field is going to find its way into that animal's stomach. Some's going to get trampled um, and wasted. So we said 50%, so that's 3,250 pounds of dry matter per acre. It's going to find its way into that animal's stomach. Um, so, so these calves are going to be grazing, and we, we kind of were pretty conservative and set out a little bit higher. Their dry matter intake is going to be about 15 pounds a day on these weaned calves. Um, and that's going to give us about 215 grazing days per acre for this calculation. Um, the cost of grazing day which is going to be $200, that's our production cost per acre for the summer annuals, divided by 215 grazing days. It's going to be about $0.93 cents per grazing day. So we did use the higher end of the um, cost estimate for this calculation. The, the data that I didn't have from Virginia that, um, that you really need to do this calculation is animal performance on these summer annuals. So this was a study done in Texas. I use a lot of summer annuals in the Texas uh, panhandle. And 
and this looked at several different varieties over several years. In, and uh, what I want you to focus on is the average daily gain from all these varieties in, in year combinations was 2.6 pounds a day. It's a little high. I, I would tend to, to use a lower number for my calculation. We're going to use two and a quarter pounds a day. So if we assume those calves are going to gain about two to two and a quarter pounds a day with uh, good quality brown midrib summer annual forage, um, the other thing we need to know is the average price for those calves that we're going to be selling. So I went back and I looked through records from the Virginia Department of Agriculture over a 10-year period we, from graded feeder calf sales. And we found that medium and large ones at 500 pounds sold in June would be on average $1.59 a pound. If we looked at uh, medium and large ones at 650 pounds in August, so 60 days later, they would be on average $1.45 a pound. So as a calf gets bigger and we sell it later in the year, we're, we're going to take um, a, a hit on the price per pound. And, and that's what we call the slide. So if we looked at that slide, it's a dollar fifty nine minus a dollar forty five or fourteen cents slide by marketing those calves two months later. Okay, we're going to assume two hundred and fifteen grazing days per acre, uh, daily cost of ninety three cents. And then we're going to assume that you use reasonable agronomics. So that means you fertilize the summer annuals and then you, you graze them a little bit, uh, graze them with rotational stocking. So let's do the calculations real quick. So if we sold the calves at weaning, that's 500 pound calf in, in uh, $1.59 at weaning. That's going to be a, a net return to land, labor, and risk of $795. What this Calculations don't have minimum as marketing and transportation costs, so you have to figure those in. Um, so if we sold those calves after backgrounding for 60 days, they're going to increase in size, but our price per pound is going to be lower, and those calves are going to be worth $921 per calf. If we look at the difference between $921 and $795, it's $126 um, that we increase the value of that calf by keeping an additional 60 days. But that's not our, our return because we don't have our production costs of the summer annuals in there. So when we take our production costs for the summer annuals out of that $126, it's going to cost us $0.93 cents a day for 60 days, so it's $56. We're going to increase the, the value of that calf by $70 per, cow, per calf. If we turn that into an acre basis and we're stocked at about 3.5 calves per acre, we're going to look at the, the return of using those summer annuals for this weaning system. It's going to be about $250 per acre. So just, just think about that for one minute. So what can you do in, in that time period of, of um, April till August that's going to return $250 per acre? There's not a lot of enterprises that will do that. So there's some real value in these summer annuals and, and um, backgrounding calves on these. What's important to remember is, is um, sensitivity to changes, and, and it's important to remember that economic outcomes are going to be sensitive to changes in both input costs, so what it costs us to, to use these summer annuals, and then what we sell those calves for. And, and I kind of came up with this spreadsheet, and, and it's an interactive spreadsheet that I made, and it's available on my Google Drive, and you're you're welcome to, to um, access that, and I'll be happy to send you a link if you're interested. But if you go to this link, it'll uh, take you to this spreadsheet. What's kind of neat about this spreadsheet is that it's interactive, so you can change things in the green. So your starting weight of your calf, average daily gain, um, summer uh, grazing period, so how many days you want to background those calves, and then the productivity of the summer annuals, um, and then your price slide you can put in there. And we used an 8% price slide. That's at 14 cents that we talked about earlier. So when we look at this, uh, say, say our, our uh, calf price at weaning was $1.20 a pound. And uh, we used a moderate um, production cost for summer annuals, so about $150. That's pretty reasonable. I think 200 is a little high. 150 would be pretty reasonable. We're going to get um, a net return to land, labor, and risk dollars per calf of around sixty dollars. It's going to be a grazing cost per day of around sixty five dollars. It'll calculate that for you in the bottom. And, and then again we can change these inputs. 
when we change these inputs, these numbers are going to change in this table automatically. So it's going to show you the sensitivity to the different input costs as you move through there. It's kind of a neat tool. It's not perfect. In, in no economic tool is perfect, but it, it just gives you an idea to start thinking about ways that you might make your system more or less profitable and whether it's a good fit for you. It may not always work, and it's important to use tools like this to kind of figure that out.